Gamers have spoken, they really, really want Shenmue 3. The new game has finished its Kickstarter campaign with a record-breaking $6.3 million, making it the most successful game ever funded on the site. The Shenmue 3 campaign kicked off during Sony's E3 press conference last month, much to the delight of fans who have been wanting to play it since Shenmue 2 was released in 2001. Shenmue 3 will pick up shortly after the events of its predecessors, with Ryu Hazuki still on the hunt for his father's killer. The story is based on an outline that was made before the first game came out in 1999, and the graphics will stay true to the original look and feel. Basically, it will be the Shenmue 3 that should have been released 15 years ago. We'll still have to wait for it, though. It's not slated to arrive until 2017. Ryu, this way. And it looks like we might be getting a Borderlands 3 around the same time. Speaking with IGN, Gearbox Software CEO Randy Pitchford revealed that the studio has begun developing a new Borderlands game. <laughs> I am alive! It's still in the very early stages, so it's too early to say what to expect or when it will take place in the Borderlands timeline, but it's good to know that they're working on it. The next Gearbox title, the online first-person shooter Battleborn, will launch late this year or early 2016. Talking Borderlands and Shenmue with my buddy Scott Jones. What do you think they got to do for Borderlands? Would it, would it be three? This because would, the pre seek I guess it's three. You yeah, know how they are at, yeah. uh, at Gearbox. Might be Borderlands 2.7. You never know. They do crazy things over there. You, listen, I've always loved the Borderlands series. But yeah. here I want to see where we're going to go that we haven't been before. You mm -hmm. mentioned the moon as a place we've been to. But I feel like the core central setting for all the Borderlands games up until this point has been that sort of desert milieu. You know, we just get kind in there. Kind of empty it's until all you fly blown, get into the enemies. Yes. Yeah, and then you get into the enemies. So where are we going to go this time? And I think they probably got some great ideas. And we're going to get an answer to those questions, but it's a little too soon. I have two ideas for them. <laughs> Populated cities with lots and lots of uh, different characters with lots of verticality. We haven't really been able to do too much of that. It's been kind you of want a horizontal. Buildings to, to climb up into? Buildings okay. that you can go inside that are huge city streets. I mean, these are much more powerful machines that they're developing these games for. Yes. Now. All right, so uh, let's talk about Shenmue yes, 3. Yes, yes. Biggest yes. amount of funding ever in, for a video game on yes. Kickstarter. Unbelievable. Congratulations Unbelievable. to Yu Suzuki and Co. Uh, very well orchestrated by Sony. They obviously had a, an, a plan here to get people to uh, help them make this game a reality. Well, I think Shenmue's always been fascinating. It's got a great central character, great storyline, mm -hmm. and, and lots of action. I mean, we're looking back at a game that really flourished on the Dreamcast, which yeah. is a, a system that's long dead, two right. generations back at this point. Yeah. Had some very strange qualities about it. Yes, and it's obvious that Yu Suzuki, who came up with uh, the Virtual Fighter franchise and Virtual Racing and Daytona, all these incredible games was trying to you know get into more story development more sort of role-playing and uh, something massive and huge and the, you know I think that it was so huge that it Sega just buckled under the pressure and the weight and the cost and obviously it won't cost the same amount that that game did in its day because the graphics are gonna be kind of retro but it's gonna cost a lot more than 6.3 million dollars well listen when this thing popped up at the Sony's press conference at E3 it's a very exciting moment, but yeah. also there was a little bit of skepticism. But now, after the money they brought in, uh, it turned out to be a huge success, and I can't wait to see this game. It's going to be a wild retro experience. Can't wait for that either. But something that is not going to be retro, something that is definitely shooting for state of the art, is Ghost Recon Wildlands. Here's Jose with more. The Rundown is brought to you by EB Games.